In this session, let's learn about the extension to the group by called rollup. Okay? So this is your group by example. We are grouping by the sales month and the product name and we are displaying the summary data sales amount. Okay? It's a simple SQL, right? We are grouping by sales month, product name and displaying the sales amount. And this is how the data looks. What if I want to display a total for every sales month? Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. That I can do using a roll-up. Okay? So if you look at the report here, for every sales month, we are displaying the total. Okay? For January 2015, the sum of sales amount is 400. For February 2015, the sum is 25,000. 440 for March it is 63,060 for April it is 59,160 and for May it is 1,140 and the total is 149,200 you see how the subtotals and totals are displayed for the sales month it's cool right yes and displaying the subtotals and totals is very easy all you have to do is specify roll up and the list of your group by columns that's all whenever you are using the roll up it takes only the first group by column here it is sales month right so it will take this column and for that column it will display the subtotals if there are n distinct values in this column it will display n plus 1 subtotals. So what is n here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many subtotals are there? n plus 1. It, it will be 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Cool, right? Okay. Now let's go and do this. So this is my sales data and let me do the group by. Okay. Since this is at a day level, I'll use the trunk function. Okay trunk of sales date comma MON and I'll call it as sales month and I'll get the product name product name is in the product table product name comma sum of sales amount as sales amount from sales yes comma product P where where s yes dot product id equal to p dot product id group by so this column and comma and this column okay let me order by, order by the same columns Okay, and now let me run this. You see, it grouped by sales month and product name and it gave us the total sales amount. Okay, now let's display the subtotals and totals for the sales month. So, I'll use the function rollup. All I have to say is rollup, bracket start and at the end, close it. That's it. Now, let me run this. That's it. The subtotals and totals are displayed. You see, 2000, which is the sum of these two values. Next, this is the subtotal for these values. Right? And uh, for these four values, this is the subtotal. Like this, for every value in the sales month, it will display a subtotal and at the end, it will display the total of all the values right this will be cool right you can export this data into an excel file and send it to your manager or whoever the business unit you are supporting cool right yes